folks, this tomato garden is just going absolutely nuts. Um, I'm out here trying to get some of these tied up and stuff because I should have done it a couple of weeks ago and just didn't get to it. So most of these buckets along the outside, this is almost 20 feet of five gallon buckets. And most of those are the 4th of July tomatoes. And you can see we have quite a few fruit clusters, um, little ones, big ones, fruit coming on, um, flowers, and then uh, there's some smaller pots and five gallon buckets in this middle row, but most of those are the blue tubs. Now the blue tubs have two tomato plants in each one because they're so much bigger than the five gallon buckets. But I am wondering if that was a mistake, if we're gonna be too crowded. Um, and that's a mixture, more 4th of July's, early girls, some cherry tomatoes and yellow pears. And um, I don't even remember what else is in here, but they're just all going crazy in here. There's little green fruit everywhere. Um, I have actually eaten a little 4th of July tomato this morning. And uh, there's some more little green ones. And it was pretty tasty. It was not the first fruit to get ripe. That one disappeared before it was totally ripe. So I'm sure the squirrels in the mess are gonna be an issue. But this is the most amazing tomato garden I think I have ever had. 